All right, I need some tissues. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the hardest part of the day. <laughs> yeah. Parker David, when we first met on November 19th in 2015, singing Billy Currington at karaoke, we both were unaware that it was the beginning of the most wonderful and beautiful journey together. Here we are on our wedding day, still as madly in love as we were during our first months of meeting. Six years later, your laugh is still my favorite sound. And in 60 years, I know that your contagious belly laugh will still be music to my ears. Parker, you light up a room like no one else and I have ever met. You make everyone around you smile brighter and laugh louder. I feel so lucky to soon be your wife. I'm not gonna cry. Emily Ann, I'm so happy this day is finally here. And it's not because the stressful parts of planning and preparing for a wedding are behind us. Though that is truly exciting. My happiness comes from so much more I think than I that. Put it on good. <laughs> My happiness comes from waking up next to you every morning for the rest of our lives. It comes from your smile, your laugh, and your touch. <laughs> My happiness comes from starting a family together and coming up with silly nicknames for our babies. I can't wait to see you as the mother of our children. We've already made so many wonderful memories together, and I look forward to making a lifetime more. I knew that I loved you the moment I laid eyes on you at that Seton karaoke party, and I've fallen more and more in love with you every day since. I know that God put you into my life at just the right time, and I'm so grateful that he did, because today I get to make the most beautiful girl in the world my wife. I love you smudge. Love, Parker David. Goodness, you are so beautiful. I love you. Oh, I love you. Second Daddy, off. Not to cry. Second I off. love you. I love you too. <laughs> I can't cry. This is the most I've cried so far. <laughs> Introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Parker and Emily Hagan. I'm thankful for all of our time together and inside jokes, from Austin Powers' references to watching the Vikings lose in heartbreaking ways. But Parker and Emily have the opposite of heartbreak. They have eternal love and have been blessed to find their soulmates. In fact, when Parker and Emily were dating for only a few months, I remember that Parker came over to my parents, and after eating about 10 of Al's famous pancakes, he brought up Emily and said, I think I found the one.
Feel it coming now Here we go 